What is up fellow game developers? My name is Tyler Potts and welcome back to Muddy Wolf Studios. In this video we're going to be carrying on our 2D platformer series. We're going to be looking into jumping. We're going to set up a simple jump for now and then later on down the line we're going to add double jump, maybe even triple jump and even some flips maybe. So, but first we want to kind of get the animations in first. You can actually see it all happening. So what we're going to do in this is just simple jumping and we're going to add that to our player movement. But before we do that I'm going to go over to ground and I just want to double check we have the layer of ground on it because we're going to need that. Secondly, I'm going to, um, on our player, create a new empty game module. I'm going to call this Feet. Um, and I'm going to set the Y to minus 0.5, which is going to pull it to the bottom here. I'm going to hit save. And I'm going to go back over to the player. And I'm going to say, nope, so I'm going to go over to ground. And I'm going to duplicate it. I'm going to create, rename it to platform. And I'm going to set its Y to about 6, its height to 1. And it's y to minus 3. It's position to minus 8. Or no, 8. There you go. So now that gives us a new platform to be able to jump onto. Now we've done that, I want to go onto our player. And I'm going to double click the player movement script to open it up in Visual Studio. Okay, now Visual Studio is open. We're going to add a new float. Um, it's going to be a public float. And it's going to be called Jump Force. Uh, I'm going to set this to 10, 12, maybe 20 by default. Um, I think there's a good value which gives a nice jump um, and then in update we need to get some input so we want to say if input dot get button down is equal to our jump key or jump button then we're just going to call a function called jump I'm going to go to the underneath fixed update and now I'm going to create this new jump method remove that space um, and now what I'm going to do is create a new movement vector so a new vector 2 which could be called movement again I'm going to set it to new vector 2 and what I'm going to do in here now for X I'm going to do like what we did for the movement I'm going to say RB dot velocity oh, dot X and then for the Y I'm just going to say jump force and now I'm going to go down here and say rb.velocity is equal to movement. And that will now allow us to be able to jump in the air. So if we save this, we go back to our game. We just check everything loads correctly. Hit play. We should now be able to jump. So as you can see, I can jump there. But one issue is I can just forever jump out of the map. There's no waiting until we hit the ground. So what I'm going to do is we're going to go back over to the script and we're also going to create a new boolean called is grounded. And we're going to set this equal to false. Or actually we're not even going to set this at all. We're going to go down to our underneath jump and we're going to create a new method called is grounded. Which actually it's not even we're actually just going to call this the boolean. We're going to say it's a public ball, it's grounded. I'm just going to remove our it's grounded there. So we're going to set public ball, it's grounded. And then inside here, we're going to set a collide. I think it's collider 2D or collision 2D. We'll find that in a minute. I'm going to call this uh, ground check. I'm going to set this equal to uh, physics 2D dot overlap. I'm going to do circle. And I'm going to give it a point, which will be our feet. So up here, I want to create a new public public transform, calling it feet. And I just want to pass through feet.position. I don't want to give the radius. I'm going to set this to 0.5f. I'm not going to create a variable for that because I don't think we need one. And then I'm going to do ground, oh, ground layers as our layers variable. I need to now go up here and say public layer mask and I'm going to call this ground layers and now we can define our ground layers in the area. So once we have done ground check, once we have got the ground check we're going to say if ground check we're just going to for now all we're going to do is say return true oh, to true else or not even an else we're just going to say return false so all we're going to say if ground check is actually there well we actually need to do something because you need to see ground check dot collider 
or game object is not equal to null. I believe that's it, or it's just a game ground check is not equal to null. We'll figure that out in one second. So let's go up to our jump and we'll go say and and is grounded. And we'll just go call this function in here because now this is just going to check if we are grounded. And if we are grounded, then we can jump, else we can't jump. So let's move back to our player. We need to now set our feet position. So we created this transform over here. Let's set it in here. And then our ground layers is ground. Now you can set multiple, you can have platforms, ground and all sorts. So if you want to add multiple, you can. For now, we're just going to stick to ground. So now when we fall, we hit the ground, we should be able to jump. But you see, I can't, if I try to jump twice, it doesn't allow me to jump twice. We are getting this error. And I believe it's because we set, so it says 38, which is right here. I think it's because we're doing game object. I think we just need to check for a ground check. So if we now go back, unclick this, because now we need to restart. Just clear the console and hit play again. Waiting for the scripts to compile. And now we should be able to jump only once. So you can see I can, I'm spamming spacebar, but I can only jump once at a time now. And getting stuck on the side like this is enough for... Another issue, one thing you can do is add a material to your box collider or your rigid body that just says make your player more slippery. But I'm going to keep the stickiness because we're going to probably be creating a wall grab um, later on. So we'll probably end up needing something like that. So for now, this is it for our jumping tutorial. In the next uh, video, we're going to be looking at setting up the animations inside of our video. So we're going to be creating some assets, um, some sprites, um, animating them and then putting them into our game in Unity. I'm going to stop playing the game right now. Um, so that's what we're going to do in the next video. And then in a future video from there, we'll probably add double jump, maybe even a triple jump with a flip or something similar and maybe rolls and stuff like that. But first, I want to get the assets into the game. So if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to leave a thumbs up. If you want to see more, smash that subscribe button. Thank you guys for watching this video. Keep muddy and peace out.